Today I'm going to be reviewing this, the Riddler action figure that I recently purchased for my son who's eight years old. This is going to be a pretty large one. It's much bigger than actually I thought it was when I first purchased it. So I'm going to take it out of the box here and show you exactly what you're going to get and exactly how big it is as well. So I wanted to grab the tape measure and give you the dimensions on this action figure first. So from the top of the Riddler's head to the bottom is going to be about a foot, not quite, only about 11 and a half, 11 and three quarters inches. And then the width, the widest part is probably going to be right where his arms are at. And that's going to be about four and a quarter, four and a half inches, somewhere in that vicinity. Now, one of the things that I really like about this action figure is the fact that it can articulate in many different ways. So it's gonna bend at the knees, so you can have it like sitting down like that, but it's not just gonna have like one bending position. These are actually gonna kind of stay at multiple different positions on the way up. And the same is, the true, is same is true for the other leg. So it's actually gonna have like a little spot where it's gonna almost clip, and then it's gonna move up, and then the same thing on that. These do not move back and forth, however, so that you can't like rotate them, but you can then of course move the entire leg up and down. The leg itself will move, but the bottom part does not. So the legs, the legs themselves can move like that all the way out, but then they can do like that. And so they can move in that, that aspect, but the bottom portion of the leg does not move back and forth. Arms do have a lot of articulation as well. So again, you're gonna be able to rotate them like so. Then you can move them out, move them in, move them up and down. They're not gonna move in all of the way to the body. So the furthest that they'll move in is gonna be like right around like that. So that is something to keep in mind. They're not gonna move like all the way into the chest. There's no way to get them just because of this part here that's kind of blocking it from moving. The head is gonna rotate a little bit. Um, it's not gonna move a lot. So really just kind of move back and forth and does move up and down slightly. Everything else on the torso is gonna to be all the same. This is gonna all be made of a solid plastic, so shouldn't have to worry about it being broken too easily. Of course, I've got an eight-year-old, so hopefully he won't be too incredibly um, hard on it or anything like that. So overall, definitely pretty happy with this Riddler action figure.